If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Reverend Al Sharpton, the host of the MSNBC show Political Nation with Al Sharpton, has joined the Democrats' call for black men to vote for Stacey Abrams. Abrams herself has stated that if she loses on November 8th, that she will blame the black male vote. Quote, if black men vote for me, I will win Georgia. Stacey Abrams stated this during an event titled Stacey and the Fellas at a restaurant called Forks and Flavor, a black owned eatery in Cobb County. This event was to help her connect with the black male voters. Black men have hit back questioning what the DNC has done for them lately, and they have been looking for other options. Abram, who has 90 percent of the black female vote, but just 80 percent of the black male vote, she had trouble attracting the black male vote in the first run for governor as well. Back in 2018, Abrams lost to Kemp by less than 1.5 percent points, despite garnering 97% of the black female vote and 88% of the black male vote. The Democrats were counting on Abrams best in Kemp this time around. She helped get President Joe Biden into office after rallying voters and is credited with turning the southern states blue. In 2019, she founded Fair Fight Action, an organization focused on addressing voter suppression. Now Sharpton has challenged black men to vote for Abrams, who was trailing her opponent for the role of governor of Georgia, incumbent Brian Kemp. Sharpton went on to the morning show called Morning Joe and stated that men who don't want to vote for Stacey Abrams in 2022 Georgia gubernatorial election are insecure and manipulated men. I literally have black men calling my radio show saying, well, we've got enough black women. All right, this is the problem here. Um, I can't speak for every single black man out here. But I, I'm going to just say for the nice majority that is out here that are undecided voters or that feel like they don't want to vote, black men are tired. Uh, after all of this time that black men have been blamed for every single thing, we're blamed for why the economy is uh, billions of dollars. And we're, looking, we're not looking at the president. We're not looking at the, the people in office. We're not looking at money laundering. We're not looking at the jobs that have been going overseas and, and all of the businesses that have been outsourced and uh, the other people who just, you know, shut down their businesses. And We're not looking at any of that. People wanted to try to specifically blame black men for the reason why the economy is the way that it is without listing all the other things. And black men have, of course, been blamed for everything else. Uh, we're blamed for drugs. We're blamed for gun violence. We blame for the jails and the prisons. Uh, anything negative black men are, in a sense, blamed for, right? And especially anything that deals with the black community. So it's like now, here we go yet again, where it's another ploy in order to go black men into voting we're going to say that oh well you know if you guys vote for me then i as a black woman i'm going to win but if you don't vote then i'm not going to win why don't you get 100 percent of the black women out there to vote for you i feel that shouldn't black women be supporting stacy abrams why is it just dependent solely on black men remember black men don't do anything when is the last time that the government has done anything for black men somebody just list me something because I, as a black man, I can't find anything. I can't find anything where it was like written that, yo, this is what we're doing for black men. And this is what has happened. And this is exactly what you guys have got. Show me a 10 point, you know, uh, uh, you know, list of the things that black men have gotten over these years since Joe Biden has been in office. And as Stacey Abrams, and rightfully so, right, with all due respect. Stacey Abrams deserves the credit, along with black women, for getting Joe Biden directly into office. Nobody else deserves that credit at all. You've tried to have other women come right through during the first part of Joe Biden's election and try to say, oh, yeah, it was us. We were really stumping for Joe, No, you weren't. No, no, no other group of women were rolling out here 
um, going door to door, grassroots style, and and trying to get Joe Biden and Kamala Harris directly into office, but black women. Like I said, that's all credit right there. So if black women are able to do this, if Stacey Abrams is able to do that, why is it that Stacey Abrams can't do the same things for herself? Somebody has to answer that question for me. Somebody has to riddle me that. I'm highly confused. You can get a Caucasian man and Camilla Harris, whatever she is, um, directly into office, but you cannot get the exact same thing to happen for you. And why is it that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris aren't trying to help get her back into office? Shouldn't a favor be returned? Because last time I checked and I did a video on this, you had black women after Joe Biden has been in office, they started complaining and they were like, well, you know, we got them in, um, you know, into office and it's like they just forgot about us. It's, it's just like they just left us and, and, and that was it. Of course they did. You did what you were supposed to do. They're not going to do anything for you because you didn't expect there was no expectations. You did not put any specifications or any parameters on, hey, if we give you this vote, you got to give us X, Y, Z. Y'all didn't have that set up. So like I said, for the black woman that got Joe Biden into office, take that L. Hold it proudly. Because this is exactly why I did a video the very first time. And as which was stated directly in the article, um, what has Stacey Abrams done for black men? Somebody, somebody, listen to me something. Somebody, so, some, somebody show me a list of the great things that Stacey Abrams has done for black men. Because maybe if she can actually list those things and show those actions, then maybe black men be like, all right, yeah, I'll vote for you. You, you. you did something for us. You supported us. We got you. How about People only support people that will support them. So how about black men vote for people that are actually going to do something for them and not just lie and say that they're going to do something, but really not do anything at all? How about that? How about you do that for governors? How about you do that for every political seat, including the presidency, including your local mayor, including the local police chief? How about that? But like I said before, at the end of the day, if you're able to get black women, black women are educated, highly intelligent, college educated, they're independent, they're on their own, they're buying homes, they got businesses. You should be able to get all of those intelligent black women to vote for you. You realistically shouldn't even need black men to sit up there and help you vote. Because last time I checked, if I think about things, there are more women on this planet than there are men. Now, I'm not sure about the state that she is in, but I'm going to more than likely guess that it should be the exact same way as well, right? Because what? The greater majority of the, you know, the rest, or I'm sorry, not the greater majority, but the rest of the, the black, you know, population, the male black population is what? Incarcerated? What? Either in prison, jail, or six feet? So therefore, you should have quite a bit of black women out there that should be able to help Stacey Abrams get directly into office. But the question is, why aren't 100 percent of black women showing up to keep and to get Stacey Abrams back into office? Somebody really has to answer me that question.